टूडेज लेसन वुड्स रिएक्शन ए काइंड ऑफ रिएक्शन ऑफ फ्रेंच केमिस्ट चार्ल्स एडोल्फ वुड्स बाई विच हाइयर एल्केंस आर प्रिपेयर्ड फ्रॉम द रिएक्शन ऑफ एल्काइल हेलाइड्स एंड सोडियम मेटल इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ ड्राई ईथर बाई रिफ्लॉक्सिंग इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न definition of woods reaction examples with limitations of woods reaction and reaction mechanism so let's get started the very first point is definition of woods reaction the reaction of alkyl halide and metallic sodium in presence of dry ether by which higher alkanes are produced this reaction is known as woods reaction it is named after the french chemist charles adolf woods let's write the reaction general reaction that is alkyl halide reacts with sodium in presence of dry ether then it is heated that means refluxing is carried out then higher alkyl alkyl group another alkyl group and sodium halide is produced as by product here one alkyl group but here two alkyl groups if it is methyl group it will be methyl methyl ethane if it is ethyl halide it will be ethyl ethyl that means butane so the reaction by which higher alkanes are produced reacting with sodium in presence of dry ether by refluxing this reaction is known as woods reaction here dry ether ether is di ethyl ether simply we can write et2o di ethyl ether this is liquid at normal condition its boiling point is 34.6 degree celsius here dry is used because the ether is completely devoid of water that is here no water no moisture is present because suppose here water is used as solvent instead of ether then reactive metal sodium reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas reaction will proceed in different direction if water is used as solvent instead of ether to get desired product higher alkene dry ether is used as solvent to protect this reaction reaction between sodium and water let's try to learn about refluxing suppose this is a vessel with water here this is volumetric flask it's a glass tube which is introduced to the volumetric flask this is end point open end with this tube a condenser is set this is water in and here water out 
when this volumetric flask with chemicals reactants is heated then reactants will vaporize and it will go upwards but because of this condenser at the time of passing this tube this vapor turns into liquid that comes back to the volumetric flask to the reactant again this backward flow of reactants components is known as refluxing here refluxing is applied for the reaction over long period of time so that solvent cannot vaporize this is refluxing here refluxing is applied to protect the evaporation of dry ether solvent this is about dry ether and refluxing the reaction of alkyl halides and sodium in presence of dry ether by refluxing higher alkanes are produced this reaction is called woods reaction after the name of the inventor of the reaction french chemist charles adolf woods let's see some examples of woods reaction with limitations examples of woods reaction let's write methyl iodide sodium dry ether as solvent the reaction is heated that means reflux then two methyl groups from two molecules undergo self coupling ethane is produced sodium iodide is produced as by product here ethane which is the lowest member lowest alkene produced using woods reaction so using woods reaction another member of alkene that is methane methane cannot be produced using woods reaction this is one limitation of woods reaction let's see another example of woods reaction ethyl iodide sodium dry ether then products are ethyl ethyl that is butene is produced a higher alkene and sodium iodide is formed as by product two ethyl groups undergo self coupling two two iodine so here we can put two two sodium here two this can be balanced as here two this is two it is observed that alkanes having even number of carbon atoms are produced through woods reaction now let's see another example of woods reaction in which different kinds of alkyl halides are used woods reaction of different kinds of alkyl halides let's write methyl iodide another alkyl halide that is ethyl iodide this mixture is treated with sodium in presence of dry ether 
refluxing then we get a mixture of alkanes like here self coupling happens ethane here self coupling happens butane and another alkane is produced that is coupling between methyl and ethyl group that is methyl ethyl and here sodium iodide is formed as by product when mixture of alkyl halides are used in woods reaction then a mixture of alkanes is produced from which separation of these alkanes is very hard very tough to separate these alkanes because these alkanes have close boiling points this is another drawback of woods reaction another limitation of woods reaction is from this alkyl halide that is 3 degree alkyl halide or tertiary alkyl halide that doesn't undergo woods reaction properly it will be discussed during mechanism of woods reaction now let's see mechanism of woods reaction the reaction is methyl halide sodium dry ether refluxing ethane is produced and sodium iodide is formed as byproduct let's see reaction mechanism of this reaction step 1 as the reaction mixture is heated so methyl iodide this is methyl iodide this can be written as hydrogen 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 because of the heating this carbon halogen bond undergoes heterolytic fission though electronegativity of iodine is 2.5 and carbon is 2.5 as well nevertheless methyl group is a kind of electron donating group that is why this carbon iodine bond undergoes heterolytic fission because of the heating now methyl free radical methyl cation that is carbocation and iodide ion are formed step 2 this methyl carbocation interacts with sodium sodium contains one electrons in its outermost shell electronic configuration is 281 it's a kind of reactive metal it donates electron to the methyl carbocation very easily then this plus that is here there is a shortage of one electron this electron is taken from sodium now this is called methyl free radical a species with one electron unpaired electron is called free radical and this is sodium ion 
after giving one electron. This sodium ion combines with iodide ion to form sodium iodide. This methyl free radical is very much reactive species. This free radical combines with another free radical, methyl free radical. The reaction system contains cores of methyl iodide. This is we normally call one molecule of methyl iodide. This is actually one mole. One mole means Avogadro's number of molecules. So the system contains crores of methyl iodide. Crores of methyl free radicals are formed. Two methyl free radicals combine together to form ethane. This is the way by which a higher alkane is produced from alkyl iodide in presence of sodium reacting with sodium metal in presence of dry ether. One more point that is Wood's Fittig reaction. The reaction is a mixture of alkyl halide and aryl halide with metallic sodium in presence of dry ether. Let's write the reaction. Alkyl halide, suppose methyl iodide and aryl halide that is suppose iodobenzene. Benzene is a kind of arene. Arene is aromatic hydrocarbon. When from arene one hydrogen is removed then we get aryl. So this is aryl iodide phenyl iodide benzene another name is phen that is why this is sometimes called phenyl iodide or simply iodobenzene a mixture of aliphatic iodide and aromatic iodide reacts with sodium in presence of dry ether reflux then here self coupling happens that is ethane here self coupling happens the name of this compound is phenylbenzene and another compound is formed that is through intercoupling CH3 this one methylbenzene which is known as toluene so the reaction is of aliphatic halide and aromatic halide with sodium metal in presence of dry ether then a mixture of some compounds aliphatic hydrocarbon aromatic hydrocarbon and methyl substituted benzene is obtained from this reaction this reaction is extended by german chemist wilhelm rudolf fittig that is why this kind of reaction is named after the name of this reaction inventor woods fittig reaction this is all about woods reaction no more today thank you very much